Hi, welcome back to GUBot Dev. This is part three of our series on renovating this motor home into a mobile STEM lab. Today's episode, we uh, dropped the fuel tank so we could get the fuel pump out to replace it. Nick, Mike, what are we doing? All right, so we're gonna try a couple less things before we drop the fuel tank. Uh, right now, what we're gonna do is pull the connector off the fuel pump and try and jump start it off my Jeep because we know we have, you know, a good 14 volts off my alternator. So we're hoping that will just kick start it. It means we don't have to drop the tank. Yep. So I threw on Nick's overalls and I'm gonna plug these in and see what we can do. So here is the connector that comes off the sending unit. You probably can't see, but inside of it, there is four pins. Uh, two of them are ground, one is a ground for the sending unit, and one is a ground for the pump. The other two are positive for the sending unit and positive for the pump. I'm going to connect these leads to the positive and ground of the pump and see if we can start it with Nick's Jeep. Good? Yeah. Zero. Up. I don't know. Is he gonna do a trick? I don't know. Do you hear anything kicking, Mike? Yeah, yeah it looks arcing pretty good. Ooh. Huh. Alright. That would have kicked it. I'd say she probably shoots your last two. So, what's the verdict? Well, the plan was to jump start the fuel pump. We did jump it, and it's pulling 12 amps or so, and not giving us any pressure. Um, so we know that, that we're still having a problem with the, the actual pump. So we're gonna be dropping the tank, sadly, in the snow. Um, so we're gonna stick the vinyl tube down in the filler neck, uh, and we're gonna get the end of it, and we're gonna put this along it blow it out and see if we can try to siphon some of the gas out. Uh, that allows to drop the tank easier without worrying about the weight. So, we're gonna get that going. Uh, it might have an anti-siphoning. Oh, I'm sorry, it goes down that way and then down. Oh, so we shouldn't go from here. Probably not. <laughs> Probably could have told you that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, not a chance. What do you need? Well, it looks like I should be able to get it off with just uh, a hose clamp. The driver? Yeah. Flathead or four? Flathead. Where did that nice one go? Yep. It's off. Ugh. <laughs> I just ate so much gas. Don't 
hold the lighter. We got the heater going inside. Nice. It's hot. Yeah, it's my up. car was nice and warm. Just one more time, because I think this is absolutely hilarious. Who needs a gas nozzle? It's working great. Here's something else we gotta think about. What? Is we need to pre-wind these. So we have... So they don't drop. Yeah. Good point. <laughs> Didn't quite think about that one. So... Go ahead and pull your strap down to the ground. Like, no. Oh, this is our yellow. Yeah, like picture that. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be able to wind that much. That should be far enough to not worry anymore. Yeah. We'll probably wear a long there. Oh, uh, I forgot about that one. <laughs> Good. Good. Okay, one, one in the back. What do we got? Um, I'm gonna try to go. Honestly, I'm. All right, I'm gonna try a manual to to over the wall. Frame. Yeah, that's what I was looking at too. All right, like that's where I put it. How does that give us it's load not distribution? We're a little heavier in the back, so probably not all that Can you great. go right here? I'm gonna try. I think I could. I think I can get it up on the frame. I think so. I can too. If, if we can fit it through. Yeah, give me a sec. We, we never fit it out. Oh no. I can't. Hold on, I can get it. Alright, come on. Where? The frame. Where'd you go? Like here? I went right, like, in line. After the put your hand where it, it's like right here on the frame. Back behind. If I'm holding this straight, this is what I get. Damn. That's that's pretty good. That's full. I don't quite like that, but it's fine. We'll live with it. All right. Um, get an impact on these and start taking these bands off. Yep. We'll leave the frame bolts to last. So all, all the wrenches are on your side, right? By uh, Rolly, I think. Okay. Uh, what is this? Uh -huh. Oh, are we not doing impacts? We can. It'd be easier. These are going to be a... The fun time getting off. Don't be too bad. All right, I'll try. I'll at least get the size with this. Well, my impacts are there, so. Well, I'll get the size, and then we can get sockets on it. Right. I'm thinking like a 17. Or this I'll try 18. SAE, I bet. You think so? A few moments later. Okay, there's one. You know what make, would make this a lot better? Nice warm shop. Yes. Yeah. Oh. I have no idea where that nut just went. Oh, there it is. Here. I'm going to take this. Hey, look at that. And of course, another 10 minutes later. <laughs>
this B-roll. Beautiful. Ooh. That doesn't look good. No, it does not look good. We might need a whole thing to unit. that hose. What? What the? You still filming? Yeah. Let's see. They got springs and all kinds of stuff down in the bottom. Yep. Am I good to pause? That's yeah, so nice. Oh shit, here we go. You filming? Yep. Oh, oh. How'd that one feel? So cold. Alright, so that's going to do it for today's episode. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can stay up to date on this project. And hopefully, we get the parts in soon so we can get this fuel pump fixed and get this RV back on the road.